Hello, Skyler Collins here again. I uh, just wanted to talk about the uh, upcoming holiday here in the United States, uh, officially known as Independence Day or the 4th of July. Um, I just wanted to talk about a little bit how we as voluntarians and libertarians can approach this holiday um, and sort of differentiate that between how I guess you could say normal people approach the holiday. Now, traditionally, it's approached with flag waving, uh, national hymn singing, praises, uh, military worshiping, demonstrations, and so forth. Um, that's pretty much what people will do. They'll come together, they'll have parades, they'll be outfitted in red, white, and blue, they'll carry flags. They'll cheer on people who are presented in the military. Um, really, kind of, you know, as a voluntarian, as a libertarian, kind of a depressing um, display of affection that our neighbors have towards the state and towards the government, especially one so so tyrannical and so big and invasive in our lives as the United States government. Um, but it is what it is. I, I think a lot of people now, a lot of people will fly the flag and they'll hold it up and revere it for what maybe it used to mean. But doing it in the context of today, doing it in the context of what it means today, it means literally big government uh, and imperialism and, and big wars and, and people dying and drone strikes and wiretapping and and everything else care of the United States government that for me I don't I don't hold any special significance or reverence towards the American flag or towards the colors or anything like that. I, I would say I used to, but I, I think that I have gotten past that and I don't anymore. I certainly don't fly the flag anymore. I don't revere it in any I don't, I don't have any reverence, I don't worship it at all, like unfortunately so many people do. And I, I don't know, I, I think it's just a matter of ignorance that people continue to do so. Ignorant of what that flag represents today, of the horrors that it represents. So, well, anyway, so we have the 4th of July, this is a big holiday, everybody is given paid vacation, and I am too, I'll be home. What can we do? Well. I had this idea that I think makes sense in light of what the 4th of July means. 4th of July is the day that the Declaration of Independence is signed, declaring independence by the 13 colonies from Great Britain. Basically said, look, thanks, no thanks, we don't like you anymore, we're going to do our own thing, we're out of here. Okay. In other words, the 13 colonies seceded from Great Britain, okay? So, Independence Day is really secession, secessionist day. That's what it is. They seceded from Great Britain, thereby declaring the principle of secession as, as moral and just and true that when the government becomes tyrannical and it no longer has a consent of the governed, it is just and wise for you to secede from government. So, there are principles behind secession that every American should understand and study. Unfortunately, they don't. The message that we get out of public school is not that secession is, is good, but that secession is evil and it should be forcibly prevented a la Abraham Lincoln. So, you know, it's, it's a sad day. However, what we can do as libertarians and voluntarians here on the 4th of July is we can teach our families and those we have influence over the principle of secession and not quite to that extent, nullification. Nullification is the principle that the state can prohibit a federal law from being enforced within its uh, jurisdiction if the state and the people of the state believe that it exceeds the, the delegated powers of the Constitution. Uh, there's a fantastic book written by Thomas Woods titled Nullification. You can find it on Amazon or TomWoods.com. He links to it that gives the history of nullification. Nullification was certainly a principle used by all the colonies, north and south, prior to the, to, to the southern secession. 
um, and so forth. Those petition, it, it's, it's even used today. You've got laws um, legalizing, or you got states legalizing the medicinal use of marijuana. Um, 13, 14 states, I believe, that do that, and that essentially nullifying federal law. However, the federal government is continuing to pursue people for silly reasons. You know, they, they call it tax reasons and this and that. Anyway, so that's that's a battle being waged. But anyway, secession is still a tool all over the world. You had South Sudan secede from Sudan. You have Scotland looking at seceding right now. Um, there's other there's other secessionist or nullification movements all over the U.S. and all over the world. And I think that we would do our children and our, our neighbors a, a great justice by introducing them to these concepts, um, teaching them these concepts, and so forth. Now, my kids are still rather young. I think if I explained it to them, they'd look at me and go, what? Let's go watch some Power Rangers. <laughs> you know, so, okay. But setting the... Uh, setting the, the, the mindset now that this time of the year, July, July 4th, should be used to um, share these principles, teach these principles, uh, secession, nullification, I think it's a good thing and I think that's, that's probably how we can get around this uh, uh, brouhaha and, and false patriotism that, that's everywhere is we can say, you know, look, this is what I'm doing for the 4th, invite some friends over and say, we're going to talk about this. We'll have a little, uh, little study group on the principles of secession, nullification. Currently not planning on doing anything like that this year, but it, it, it's something that we can think about with our children, with our friends, with our neighbors. I think it's important because ultimately, nullification, secession, there, there's the rights that we have, especially secession, all the way down to the individual, as Murray Rothbard wrote, uh, the rights that we have. Unfortunately, it can be very difficult to exercise them, so we must be diligent in educating people on the principles of voluntarism, uh, the non aggression principles, self ownership, and so forth. We have to chip away at the legitimacy of the state if we're going to make any progress uh, for freedom in our lifetime. So that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I think we can do this month, and I hope we do. And uh, that'll be that. Check out my website, SkylarJCollins.com. I talk a little bit about this here, and I talk about that everything at voluntary.com. Uh, just put some thoughts on that up there. So uh, the book is Nullification. You can go to libertysearch.info. It's a libertarian search engine I have, and you can search session or notification is to get a ton of really good resources on that. So that's what I encourage you to do and uh, happy Independence Day.